the heck? No idea. The hell is this? Do I actually have props or something? Is this the magic of video editing? Does the hobo have video editing? Or is this just a hobo production? Can't tell. That's weird. We'll find out later, folks. Again, welcome to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. My name is Hobo Tom. My girlfriend is at work. Actually, I think, I think today my girlfriend's at her grandmother's. And she's taking a little break. I'm kind of doing a little bit of work. Mainly because I already collected piles of aluminum. Yes. And now I need real money. Because I tried to trade in a whole garbage can full of aluminum for a cheeseburger. And it didn't work that well. I'm too happy with me. Obviously, you need something called money. So, again, my name is Hobo Tom. I'm here to review both Hello. Raw and SmackDown. Because this is kind of a weird week for me because on Saturday, somehow, someone let me get tickets to SmackDown, to, no, not SmackDown, NXT in Orlando. Yes, 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 yes. So we're gonna have a couple of videos. So I'm gonna post another video this week. Yeah, it's just been kind of busy. Kind of weird weather here. It's it was nice and sunny. Now I can see angry, gloomy clouds going by. So let's get the show started. Um, again, always a couple of shout outs. I like to thank everyone for subscribing. Please like, subscribe, and share. Also coming in July, you have Southern Pro Lucha Libre. In June, I think NXT and New Japan Pro Wrestling is coming to town. Those should be big shows. Hopefully, I can get to them. But let's get to the, the real, true reason why I'm here. And that's to talk about wrestling. Wrestle, wrestle. With Raw. It was okay. It was, it was, it was what Raw's kind of been built up. I, I do like the fact that they're going back to the kind of old school way of doing things where they have. Someone come on, kind of announce the matches. Makes it fun. At least lets me know what's happening. It's a little prelude, and that's good. Again, Kurt Angle comes out, huge pops. Stephanie McMahon comes out. That, that's all big, big, big pops. A lot of booze. Again, that, that's a that's a roll. Then Roman Reigns come out. Ooh, it's booed. Not even Stephanie can give him a rub. Roman does his whole spiel about how he's being well chopped. And then Kevin Owens came came out. And even Kevin Owens can't get can't can't Roman can't get Roman Reigns over. I mean it was just eh, what it was. The big thing we learned today. Do not put your arms or shoulder on a McMahon or your boss. That's probably also pretty bad, too. Because once he did that, Stephanie said, and uh -uh, we're not having any of this. You have a match between Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens. Actually, it was really good. Uh, this was really a, a surf and turf match. I mean, Reigns was finally no selling stuff. He actually had some passion. He looked like he, he won an encounter. Care at, at at some moments. To at least, they showed why he wears a chest protector. He's like, eh, eh. doesn't hurt. Kevin Owens looks terrified. Kevin, Kevin Owens does great sell jobs too. Yeah, it was really fun. I mean, Ro Roman finally has some attitude, and a little. Yeah, he does have to work on his promo skills though. You know, it was a really good match. No selling the chops. Roman's signature move should be just clothes clotheslines, because I think that's all they use half the match. I know I think there's a drinking game where you can count the number of clothesline Roman Reigns uses in a match. Yeah, I'm a real man. You don't have to pay me to drink. I'll drink by myself. Then hopefully again, 
I want to say by money in the bank, I should be able to live stream. Live stream. Then and then we'll we'll see we'll see maybe more effects or something. Like this thing come across the screen randomly. And I'm just amazed that I have some some effects. It's always a, always a good thing. So I'm upping the production value of 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 the of the hobo and his girlfriend wrestling podcast. Learning how to center myself, make eye contact with everyone. Things are going good so far. I need more subscribers and more view time. So again, this was a good match, and for the surf and turf match, it was a death to finish, baby. Nobody wins because Jinder Mahal came out, and, and by the way, rib tape does absolutely nothing for you. He just shows up with a rib tape, beats on Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins comes out, makes a save. They have an impromptu match of a tag team. It was Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens and Jinder Mahal. And it was an okay match. It was a classic heel, heel versus face match. Again, even Rollins can't seem to put Roman Reigns over. And he's his friend. And because I have special effects. This match was actually somewhat decent. It doesn't work that way. And it rates. The heck is this? It's a cheeseburger match. Yay, special effects. <laughs> the production value has gone up a lot. I found a penny on the sidewalk, and that went into the production budget. Yeah, it was okay. I'm not even going to talk about the Sami Zayn's. That was just awful. Then we have Ember Moon versus Alexa Bliss, and this was a ham sandwich. Oh, I guess I have to find another penny. Maybe I have to up it to a nickel. I'll have some more studio studio effects. <laughs> uh, it was a good match. It was a ham sandwich. M Mickey James has the best reaction getting tossed. She's like, what? Why am I getting tossed? Because you're interfering. You're out of here. And it was what it was. <laughs> and there was a backstage was in Stephanie's office. Braun Strowman and <laughs> Finn Balor. Braun is great. Stephanie offers him a piece of fruit, and Finn says, no, no thanks. He's like, okay. That's what Braun says. He grabs an apple. It's like, well, you two are going to have a match. He's like, oh, this is a good for spirit competition. It's Finn with a big smile. Braun's like, I don't like competition, and crushes the apple, and then all of a sudden, it's like, what did I get into? Then we had No Way Jose versus Baron Corbin. Again, this is a ham sandwich. This is an okay. This was a Overall, this was an okay Raw. I mean, it's nothing special. I think maybe you get soured from the one really bad Sami Zayn part, but... Yeah. In no way, Jose, this was a ham sandwich. It's kind of what you expected. You have a heel versus face. Baron Corbin won. Went over with the days. And you have the B team versus Brazango again. I, I got I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to up this match. I initially was going to give it a, a, a ham sandwich, but now. It's going to be a cheeseburger match. And the only reason it was, it was mainly because of the celebration afterwards. The match itself was okay. Um. Really, nothing spectacular or special. But the big thing was the way they celebrate afterwards, hugging each other, rolling down the ramp on a chair from from commentary. I mean, that was good. At least they they're showing emotion. I can appreciate the work they put behind it. So they they got that little up. Up, like something up. 
a cheeseburger. So again, it was rated a cheeseburger match. It was, it was, it was good. It was, it was what it was. It was just entertaining though, especially at the end part. And I only get two down because well, I, I try to be positive. Sometimes it's hard to be positive all the time. Though. Then there was a contract signing. That is what it was. They moved the table. Stare down. No table is broken this time. I guess that's okay. And I kind of really funny into a Gable, a Chad Gable and Dolph Ziggler match. Another ham sandwich. Just kind of like, it was, it was okay. Nothing special. I got nothing special. The only good thing, Drew McIntyre got involved at the very end, gave him, gave him a Claymore kick. That was about it. Then you had the four-way for the final woman spot, I think. It was Dana Brooke versus Natalia Neidhart. I just like saying both names. It sounds better. Versus Sarah Logan versus Liv Morgan. Sarah Logan has nasty-looking headbutts. She just headbutts people. That's her move. She headbutts you. That's actually pretty cool, though. And again, coming from that like Kentucky, Louisiana, hick type thing, I I, I actually can get I actually get her gimmick now. It was it was okay. I won. She made Lo she made Sarah Logan tap out. Yeah, okay. That much. Bias versus Rude. Again, this is fun. The, the only bad thing. Is that it's, it's the 50 50 booking, but however, still gets this magical cheeseburger rating. This is just neat. And I'm so happy I found that, that penny on the street. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this way too much. I mean, it was good. The crowd really gets behind Elias. And it was good. Nothing really to complain about. I mean, Elias just... Both of them are really good wrestlers. I like the fact Elias keeps on getting in her both. And anyways, the facial expressions is what really sells it because he actually shows some emotion. It looks upset when he gets interrupted. And, and Bobby Root, it looks like Bobby Root is like coming out, yeah, I have to do this Glorious again. Glorious! It wasn't that bad when he was in NXT. He only really did it for big moments. And I want to say... Other than that, he's always kind of suit, instead of robes. But it was fun, though. It wasn't bad. Uh, again, kind of the only downside, this is 50, 50, 50 booking. Rude won last time. So Elias will win this time. Next time they face off, Rude will win again. Mm. It's okay. Then you had the match of the night, which was Braun Strowman versus Finn Balor. And this was great. This was a surf and turf match. And even though it, it really probably shouldn't have been, the way the interaction of these two wrestlers took place, more so that, and the fact that there was the old, old fight face styles to make fights. And with this, it was, it was very stylistic. I mean, that's what I enjoyed about this one. Is that you have the big bruiser, Braun Strowman. Versus that tactician, Finn Balor. Again, you have just the, the pure raw power of Braun versus kind of the speed of Finn Balor. And then that showed in the match. And it, it was really good. You know, surf and turf match. I love the way the match started off. <laughs> because Braun Strowman just came running down the ramp, ran over, shoulder tackled the lights on his way down. And that's his thing. And the crowd loves it, though. So that was it. That's. Kind of raw in a nutshell. It was, it was okay. Overall, ham sandwich. Next thing, the next part is that SmackDown, and SmackDown was entirely different. It was so much more entertaining. It was good. It was being fast paced, I think the time, by the time I looked at the clock, I'm like, well, when are they getting to the main event? It was 9 30. I'm like, ooh, wow. Yeah, hour and a half went by really quick. And a great opening, Miss TV. 
with the New Day, Miz, Miz he gets who's and which is. Um, he also misspoke Fortnite or Fortnite, and he's like, I don't play video games. I don't care. He's a daddy. He doesn't have time to play video games anymore. He has a beautiful wife, too. That shouldn't be playing video games. But again, it was it was good. I mean, just trying, just trying to get New Day to open up, kind of cause a rift in New Day. Again, typical heel stuff, and they and they shame him by throwing pancakes at him. And this was this was good. This led to the first match of the night: Miz versus Big E. It's really a fun match. I mean, the back and forth was good. The commentary by Wow, not Xavier Woods. Third guy of the New Day. Kings, Kofi Kingston. It was actually really good. I mean, all the... Miz's signatures seem to get blocked. He seem to be doing that more often. Just blocking all signature moves and, and just stopping things. <laughs> then Miz got to the outside, and the crowd just started to throw pancakes at him. <laughs> I wonder if they got kicked out. But, man, it was just fun. Good power showing by Big E. Again, Miz is a ring tactician, dastardly heel. It was good. And I didn't realize how long the Miz's theme music was until the very end. This was a cheeseburger match. So again, that was fun. Then you had Billy Kay versus Lana. And this is the first ever squash match that I can say is a surf and surf special. It fe uh, one felt like an NXT house show. Ate it in a shard to rap. You should not do. And then the iconic duo were, were, were talking in their Australian accent, probably, probably a little bit more so than they would naturally. But what you could hear from the one guy from the club, I can't understand you. It was, it was good, though. Got a lot of Rusev Day chants, and they look very indignant at the fact that the Rusev Day was being chanted. But they're funny, though. They almost got whatted. That's, they could do the cadence for the what. I could get behind that. It in English. Distracted Billy K because he brought his sign and he is facing Aiden English when he does this. It said Lana Day. The whole stadium went Lana Day. Lana Day. Uh, that was fun though. Lana won again. It was a squash match. I think like the match itself took like 30 seconds. It was fun though. I had a smile on my face. I was thoroughly entertained by everything. And that's what you want to watch wrestling. You want to be entertained by it. It's not, I mean, you want to see great athletic feats. Again, it kind of had that NXT house showish feel. Just a fun match. It was good, though. Good. Holy fudge, Selena Vega is tiny. Andrade Cien Almas is not the tallest person in the world. And Selena Vega's head comes, like, the top of her head is at the bottom of, like, Andrade's shoulder. Either that or Andrade was on a step or something. This again led to a squash match. Again. Wait a second. This. This is so cool. I have production. That was a cheeseburger match. It was a cheeseburger squash match. The squash matches were very entertaining. You want to say something? Guess not. You can see my cat cheese put back there. Uh, even she's shocked that I have production <laughs> item. My hobo studio. Wait a second, get over here. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> there you go. She always wants her YouTube time. Again, it was a squash match. I think the guy, the local jobber in Hanson talent, got like two punches in. Andrade just smashed him. Good. I enjoyed it. Then you have Carmella. Carmella promo. Carmella put a grill on Asuka's mask. 
across the teeth. That was, that was funny. It was okay. It made, made me kind of bash a little bit. Then we have the stipulation. My stipulation I want to see is a bull rope Hell in the Cell Inferno match with AJ Styles, a.k.a. Bullet Club member, leader, versus, Shins versus Nakamura Shinsuke, a.k.a. Chaos Leader, versus ooh, a three-way bull rope. I want to sell in a pro match. Leader of Los Ingram Nobles, the Japan. Andrade Cien Almas, El Leguero. The leader of, again, Los Ingram Nobles, the Japan. So I think the one thing I picked up, and Shinsuke Nakamura said this is going to be a pillow fight, part of me said, is he going to bring Yano into the WWE? He can untie on the two buckles. Just throw them at people. But no, it's, it's going to be a last man saying mesh. Again, Kinsuke Nakamura was doing the 10 count. People behind me can see just saying 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Again, 10, 10, 10 subscribers. I have a pizza party with my girlfriend. So, this actually led to another really good match. This was actually a surf and turf match. This was the club, and they didn't lose. I was shocked. They actually won a match. And this was the club versus the Usos. It was a good back and forth. The only bad thing is that like they went back, nerds! Nerds! And this was good, though. Like, you know it was serious, though in a wrestling match when the shirts come off. Because you so said, we're having none of this. The shirts are coming off. Got my nice Carl Anderson machine gun shirt. G1, the last guy, Gene. G1 Climax. And it was really good. I mean, there were no rest holds, really, except for during the commercial break. The ref probably pulled him that spot. Other than that, it was fast paced. And they won with the magic killer. I was shocked. I'm like, are you going to hit it? They hit, they hit the magic killer. Whoa. So that was really cool. Then you have kind, kind of like the down match of the night. Naomi versus Sonya Deville, which was the ham sandwich match. Okay, it was a good back and forth. Sonya still gets booed. She'll always get booed by me. Boo! You beat up my princess, Kimberly. Yeah, and it was, it was okay. Again, someone needs to find a better outfit. Those black leather underwear trunks don't flatter her. Again, she looks a lot prettier actually without makeup. Although this time she wasn't wearing as much, so I'm like, she doesn't wear as much. She looks better. Then you have the much talked about match of Jeff Hardy versus Daniel Bryan with Samoa Joe. On commentary, and this was actually really good. I mean, this. I mean, it's a surf and turf match. If they gave it ten more minutes, it could have been a filet mignon match. And that's you're putting filet mignon on free TV. Maybe that's something special that happens. So again, this was really good. Again, all the kind of finishing moves blocked by both people. And it was just fun. Again, both faces, both really in the spirit of competition. Uh, does the shirt toss to the crowd. Yay, she pop. Joe's actually, Mojo's is very complimentary of both wrestlers. And I, I forget, if, if Jeff Hardy ever wrestled Samoa Joe and they were in TNA, I honestly forget. Please comment and say, you listen to me, you hobo, they did. I know Jeff had some kind of off moments in TNA, so. And Samoa Joe was pretty good. <laughs> Even though I'm a fat bastard. He was fat. Because <laughs> he probably had. Yay. Yeah, and really good. Good losses, boss. Fun stuff. Jeff Hardy types out to be heel hook. This is up Samoa Joe versus Daniel Bryan. 
that should be interesting. Again, thank you for watching. My name is Hobo Tom. I'm going to be putting this video up shortly. Uh oh, promo time. Yes. Do not forget to check out Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Also, like, subscribe, and email to hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. 